All right, guys. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. A few quick things. Still have readings open, guys. Check out down below. You can get two questions. I don't even think it's $20. So we can dig into you and your person, your future love life, what's going on for you. And you get those readings back within one to two days. My turnaround time's been really good lately. I've been on the ball. Also, thank you everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented, donated. The donations have blown me away. Personal readings have blown me away. Tips, you guys have been flipping amazing. And I thank you so much for your support. And I thank you for supporting me and my family, me and my little one, all of our animals, y'all. We got a zoo. So I'm wanting to see who's watching Pisces right now. If there's anything on this altar or any of the cards that I use you like, check out down below. Easily linked for you. Click it by. You're gone. All right. Let's get it. Who's watching Pisces? Who's paying a little too close attention to Pisces? I did see the Three of Swords energy. So, someone's grieving over you right now. Grieving over you or the thought of you. Someone's grieving over not getting what they want from you. Not being fulfilled in the way that they feel they need to be fulfilled when it comes to you, Pisces. With the Nine of Wands, you could be blocking a lot of people right now. You could have blocked a lot of people on social media lately. You could, have, you could not be answering messages, not going out with friends. Just kind of staying to yourself, I feel. And minding your own business. And a lot of people are like, wait, what the hell is Pisces doing? And they're watching you. I feel like a lot of people could be watching you on social media. There also is a few people I see. It's three is what I just heard. That is trying to watch you on social media, but you have them blocked. They do see you moving forward, though. There's a lot of success in your environment. You are bringing in victory. You're making goals. You're getting through your goals. Like the things you're setting are happening for you, Pisces, especially with this six of, what, what? Six of swords. <laughs> My mind just went blank. With this six of swords, you're moving forward. If you were once in rough waters, if you were once in a rough, rough situation, or if you are now Pisces, you aren't much longer. I feel like you're taking control and you're staying to yourself. You're putting your head down to the ground and you're grinding. And a lot of people are like, how the hell is Pisces doing that? What? It, what? With the Ten of Pentacles, you are focusing on your money. Your stability, your legacy, your long-term goals. You could only be working right now or starting a new business and people are watching. Also see someone buying a new home or having a baby. So take that how it resonates. But a lot of people are watching you right now and they're seeing you succeed. And I do get a lot of jealousy vibes. So I won't be surprised if the five of wands comes out. Because I get a lot of people don't understand how you make the things you make happen happen. But I feel like Pisces with the Page of Swords, you take a lot of action. You put your heart into every little thing that you do, which is why you get such amazing rewards and amazing benefits. And that's why the universe blesses you. So I do see here that there is going to be a new offer coming in, a new abundant offer. This can be the offer, an offer is like a job. This could be a new contract a new home. This can be anything that is new that you can actually hold, touch, feel. Again, I do see a check possibly coming in the mail that you could have waited for for a few months, give or take. You're abundant right now, Pisces, and a lot of people see that. And I feel like a lot of people are intimidated by how much you can do by yourself. They know it took you a long time to get here, though, with the Nine of Wands. I feel like they've seen you fight, and they know that this is your justice. But I feel like a lot of people are jealous because you're getting in and it's not them. You could have left people in your past, Pisces, that wanted to benefit from your justice, and they're not. And they're trying to watch you now, and you could have them blocked with that Nine of Wands. But with justice, Libra energy... Sorry if the camera keeps moving. I'm fidgeting. 
So you could be anxious. I'm very anxious. Um, but with the justice energy, whatever offer you're getting is something that you deserve. It is something that you have fought for. It is something that you've put effort into. So the, again, this could be a check. This could be an offer, whether it be a job, a person. But there's a lot of jealousy in your environment. It could be from a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Not necessarily. And it could be people in your work environment. People that don't have your best interest at heart, as I see the Seven of Swords. There's a lot of jealousy and conflict in your environment. And I feel like it's because you're making strides and bounds. A lot of people are having a hard time in your environment. And you might be having things a little bit easier. This is beautiful energy. If anything has not been... If there's not been any decisions made on any kind of rulings, whether this be child support, family court, unemployment, um, loans, wills, anything like that, I do see here that things are about to balance. Things are going to be put out. Checks will be mailed. There's going to be some truths coming out. So if you have done anything wrong in the past, that could be coming back to you with the justice and five of wands. But I do see with the Six of Swords again and the Six of Wands, there will be major victory and major success. Major victory and major success. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your future. You're not focusing on anything else. It's interesting because the Six of Swords and Six of Wands, Six of Wands is looking from the Nine of Wands. Like, yeah, I'm tired. I'm ready to give up, but I ain't. I ain't. I'm close is what I feel. And the Six of Swords is like, yeah. There's a lot of shit behind me. There's conflict. There's drama. There's jealousy. There's people trying to stop me. But I'm not because I'm really fucking close is what I'm getting. Close to getting that legacy that you want. Close to getting that outcome that you want, Pisces. Again, there could be a lot of conflict in your environment there could be people trying to bring in conflict trying to start arguments people trying to backstab and betray you be careful of any liar cheaters or thieves trying to act like that they're going to invest and they're not they're only going to take from you there's a with the moon energy underneath all of there's a there's a lot of things that are unknown if you what I heard is if you had any feeling that you shouldn't move forward don't because someone here is trying to manipulate a situation to benefit them and to get your rewards that I feel like you've worked hard for. And it's going to come in pretty quickly. And I feel like you're going to walk away. You're going to take that action. Somebody could be trying to stir the pot here. Somebody could be trying to start drama, trying to knock you off of your investments, trying to knock you off of paying attention to what you're doing. This could be a group of five to seven. This could be a work group. Family, friends, someone's trying to take your eye off the prize because you're so close. Give us what else for people who's watching Pisces. Also get here with the five of wands. Some people's going to try to pull you into their drama. So this could be something as simple as like your family. And let's say your sister calls and is like, can you believe Becky said this. Okay, I don't give a crap what Becky said. That's the energy that I'm getting from you. It's like people are going to call and be like, oh, can you believe so-and-so said this about so-and-so? And it's like, all right, bitch, only pot I'm stirring is the one in the kitchen. No, that's the energy I get from this. It's like I'm building money. I'm building a future. I'm not building gossip. Absolutely. You're making boss moves right now. You're focusing on your future. You're hustling like a mother. So if your money ain't where you want it to be, your money's getting close to where you want it to be, Pisces. We also have use your intuition. You could be empathic, so be careful with that. You could be absorbing other people's energies. There is a lot of unknown at this time. And I did say rock the boat. So there could be a few parties, again, coming in that's trying to rock the boat, knock you off of your goal, knock you off of your end. Your insight, you see it. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. And that's when it gets harder. Because everybody's like, wait, 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 wait. You're not supposed to do that. Oh. 
We have stability. Absolutely. People could also be trying to jeopardize your stability. Conflict. We did get that. Five of Wands. People want to try to bring in conflict. I do see the answers that you seek are coming. And you could be mentally exhausted, Pisces. This is a lot of energy. I feel like a lot of hard work. A lot of hustle. Just be careful of conflict. There could be a snake in your environment you need to watch out for. The answers that you seek are coming. But what I heard with this is if the, you don't know who that snake is, you're about to. The universe ain't going to let nobody reap blessings from you when they have nothing to give. If that person's only there to take, the universe is about to let you see that. You have a time of great joy and success coming up, I feel. Wow. Who else is, what else is going on for who's watching Pisces? A lot of people you don't know are watching you with this moon energy. There's people that you would never think that are watching you that are. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They could be younger than you, not necessarily. It could be someone you walked away from in the past. A Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone that you could have manifested with. Someone you could have just like went on on a date with. Had like a one night stand, a little bit of celebration, something like that. What I'm getting is that you don't, <laughs> okay, I'll say it. What I'm getting is that you don't understand how much people pay attention to you. You're minding your own business and everybody's like, what the hell is that shooting star over there doing? Look at Pisces. But you have, you have a goal in your head and you're like, this is what I'm doing. You could need to get grounded. If you need help, ask for help. Things will be settling soon. And I do see you balancing your bills, doing your budget. Possibly getting rid of a few things you don't need. Like Hulu, Netflix, Apple TV, things like that that you don't use, that you don't realize that you're paying a lot of money for. I see release people that hold you back in red flags. So again, I got that energy earlier. There is someone that is not in your best interest and the universe is about to show you. Root chakra. I also had solar chakra earlier, so make sure you're working on your chakras. All right, let's get an oracle for Pisces. Very interesting. A lot of people are burdened by some truths. Holy cow, look at all these people. There's a lot of people's burdened by you, and they're like, What the f with the tower? How the hell is she doing that? Some sort of truth come out to these people. It can it's a group of three. I got that earlier. It can also be a group of five to seven. We have most of the signs here. The only sign I don't have is the swords. But I do have that with the Ace of Swords. So we can, any sign, take it how it resonates. <laughs> but these people thought that they left you in a state where you're like, oh, damn. And instead, they're like, oh, damn. Look at Pisces. What do you mean? I thought you needed us. <laughs> Definite quick communication. These people could be coming in like, yo. Yo, we need your help. And it's like, well, that sucks. <laughs> this was definitely unexpected for this group. Someone come in and told them, like, yo, Pisces ain't doing as bad as y'all think they are. Pisces is thriving over there. And this could be with a career. Again, I got the energy that you could have left an old job and then be like, oh, sh she, oh, he, oh, they're coming back. No, baby, they're not. It says a daily routine has become rather monotonous and a new challenge is what's needed to inject new life into work that is dull. You need a new sense of responsibility and duty to make something of yourself. Your soul craves to express itself through your goals and achievements. Whether you wish to be authoritative, creative, hands-on, just part of a team, you have got the opportunity to reinvent yourself. The universe supports a career move as you're taking deliberate steps towards your life purpose. A new career beacons. Promotion is on the cards. 
A dismissal is a blessing in disguise. You're being called into service. You need to follow your heart. You're fully, fully supported. So if that's the sign you needed, take it. But what I'm getting, again, this could be job people, but it is a group of people who thought you were crying, sad, bummed, and they got their shit crumbled because somebody come in and was like, yo, Pisces is over there living their best life. Pisces is thriving. Y'all look like a bunch of idiots. And they're like, what? <sighs> That's not what was supposed to happen. That's because you're not in control. The universe is. The wheel? Yeah. Things might not have been in your favor a few months ago, a few years ago. But things are going in your favor right now, Pisces. Things are going in your favor right now. And a lot of things that you don't know are coming to light. The universe is helping you. They're helping you walk away from the people you don't need to take on your next journey. All right, we're going to leave that here. Have a blessed one, guys.